The Carolina Panthers have upset the Seattle Seahawks 30-24 to at Seattle. What's going on, guys? This is Set42 Sports here, and I am back with another Carolina Panthers video. I know I haven't been making at all uh, any of these videos. I've been mainly doing college football, but I am back with Carolina Panthers videos. Uh, man, this was a shocking win uh, especially if I'm a, if you're a Carolina Panthers fan going into Seattle, that environment is tough. But the Carolina Panthers scored 30 points against the Seattle Seahawks at Seattle. Um, the last drive that they basically just gave up that um, what do you call it that like pass from Geno Smith uh, to basically just get, go to onside kick. But thankfully they got the onside kick because that was a little costly with 16 seconds left. Because knowing the Carolina Panthers, they love to crumble at the end. But, man, the Panthers off the line was insane. J.C. Horn, I am sorry, man. I know I didn't want you as a Carolina Panthers because I wanted Justin Fields because we need a franchise quarterback. But still, I mean, this was crazy. He had one interception, should have been two. But, man, if it wasn't for him, we would not be here right now in, the, in this win because he dominated today. He played really well against D.K. Metcalf, though he did have some uh, catches here and there. I think he had a touchdown as well. Tyler Lockett. We um still play, played really well as also, but man, those two interceptions with C.J. Henderson. I mean, it's been a wild, wild day. And then the Panthers' offense, like the ground game, was just incredible. Uh, Deontay Foreman, and then literally Chupa Hubbard out of middle of nowhere has like a touchdown. And then um Raheem Blackshear. I mean, all these guys like came out of nowhere and just dominated the ground today. Let's go ahead and look at their uh, stats. Um, Sam Darnold. Did what Sam Darnold does is just give the uh, just plug and play type of thing. Uh, only went 120 uh, yards with that one touchdown to uh, Shy Smith, which is crazy because you never thought Shy Smith would score a touchdown. Another reason why Matt Rule is a terrible head coach. I mean, look at this: Chuba Hubbard, 14 carries, 74 yards. Deont Deontay Foreman again, 74 yards. Uh, it was it was hurt with a foot injury a little bit, but I hope he's back next week against the Steelers. Uh, Raheem Blackshear, of course, came out of nowhere with a touchdown. And then uh, Chanel, uh played decent as well. And then Sam Darnold played really well on the gr ground game. Though, the one drive he should have ran for a first down, but it was a turnover. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad. But we still won the game. And then they, Ben McAdoo needs to, like, chill out with the swing passes to Chanel, uh Because he only got, like, he did get 31 yards. But, like, we need to stop throwing um, sw swing passes. But, like, Shai Smith... And then Terrence Marshall with that insane catch. They didn't really throw the ball too much because, like, uh, Seattle was really good uh, in the secondary position. So, I mean, D.J. Moore had zero catches today, which is unreal. And, of course, uh, Ian Thomas had a few first downs, which is pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, man, I mean, the ground game. I mean, they had over 200 rushing yards, averaged about five, five yards per carry, and had two touchdowns. I mean, that's insane. And, like, they just dominated. And then... J.C. Horn, man, I am sorry. I did not want you in the draft. I know I criticize like uh, players because I just I wanted Justin Fields. I was a little bitter, but guess what? I'm over that now. J.C. Horn was the reason why this team was really good on defense today. Should have had two two interceptions, and should have have um, he could have had three interceptions to be honest with you. He had he had two great pass breakups as well. Jeremy Chin had a, a one. Pass breakup that was a three and out, and then um, Shaq Thompson made some Q, uh, QB or made some good plays, and then Frankie Luvu, that man is amazing. He just had so many good QB pressures that led to sacks and also led to uh, incomplete passes as well. And then um, with Brian Burns didn't really do too much, but he was a force as well with um, Haynes and Matos, and of course everyone else as well. They played really well, um, but yeah, I mean this was a game to win, and David Tepper. What more could you ask for Steve Wilkes? I mean, he's 4-2 and two with the Carolina Panthers right now. Literally has the same team with Matt Rule, who is a horrible head coach, who knows nothing about player development. And I mean, literally, they came in and went and won against Seattle, at Seattle. I mean, nobody thought we would win uh, versus Seattle. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. The Panthers need to hire Steve Wilkes immediately. He is a locker room guy. He is a, a leader of men. He knows what the game is at stake. I mean, Ben McAdoo still needs to work on his office to play calling. But anyways, still, what a great what a great game. What an awesome game. I know we're trying to get down to the top five draft pick for a quarterback. But I mean, they won. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired, tired of just sitting here every year the past four years 
of losing. Now they have a chance to possibly get the first place of the NFC South when they play the Pittsburgh Steelers next week at home. Who knows? This team is a totally different team, um, and they, they're literally better under Steve Wilkes. David Tepper, please do not make this stupid decision on not hiring Steve Wilkes. He's literally he's done all that you could ask for. He is 4-2 and two with this team right now. All right, guys. Uh, Set 42 Sports here. Hope you all enjoy this weekend. Got the dub. Keep pounding. And uh, see you guys later. Peace out.